Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, we will demonstrate the operation of this electrothermal gun. The principle of operation is very simple. Here we have a copper tube. This is the projectile. Here we have an electrode and this is just a piece of aluminum foil. This is a high voltage capacitor which is connected through a switch to the electrode and to the copper tube. When we close the switch, the energy of the capacitor will be dumped into the aluminum foil. The current will flow through the foil and since it is a very high current, the aluminum foil will vaporize, creating a pressure wave inside the tube that will propel the projectile to the outside. The barrel is just a piece of copper tubing, half an inch in diameter and a length of 7 centimeters. The projectile must fit perfectly inside the tube in order to maximize the pressure from the explosion. I will make it with epoxy beauty. Before taking the projectile out, we need to mark the position at which it is inserted. This is because the tube is not perfectly round, it has an eccentricity which is very small but enough to prevent reinserting the projectile if we put it in an incorrect position. Now we need to sand it with a very fine grit sandpaper. This for example is of grade 1500 and this is to eliminate the small imperfections that may have. I will put one of the electrodes, it is just a copper wire in a wooden dowel and is press fitted in the barrel. The other electrode is the barrel itself because it is copper and it is a conductor. Ok, here it is. I soldered another piece of wire to the copper tube. So we now have the two electrodes and I added more epoxy here to secure the wood dowel. Now let's make the connections and test it. Let me show you how the capacitor makes the aluminum foil explode. This is a 2400 microfarad capacitor at 450 volts. I will charge it using this high voltage power supply that I built some time ago. And I'm going to charge it 
up to 200 volts. We can see how the material disappeared, it was vaporized by the high temperature that was a result of the very high current that flowed at the moment we shorted the capacitor. We are almost ready to make the test, everything is connected. These white wires come from the capacitor, one is connected to one of the electrodes and with the other we will make contact with the other electrode. And we have a piece of aluminum foil to load the cannon and the projectile. I will charge the capacitor up to 350 volts. It seems that the concept works, but there was not too much damage to the can. We need to make tests with higher voltage or capacitance or both. But that will be subject for a forthcoming video. I will also make a better frame for the cannon and an electronic firing system. Thanks for your visit, hope you liked the video and see you in the next one.